walking tight rose say the light then i call you hey y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm amanda in today's video it's going to be another cleaning motivational video i also have a diy dawn power wash that i have been making the last couple times that my bottles have been empty and that's just simply because i forgot to pick it up at the store and i decided to google it and found out you can make it on your own so i don't know if you're aware of that but if not i do have the recipe in the video a little later in this clip so i will be sharing that but right now i'm starting off in the laundry room i had so much laundry i don't know how all of this even happened but um, last week I didn't post a video and that's just because my mom came in town, my days were mixed up, I forgot that I need to, um, well I didn't realize what day it was that I needed to clean the house. So the house was a disaster and I didn't have time to clean and film that day because she was actually coming in the day I was cleaning. Like I said, I had my digs mixed up, so it was just horrible. So um, yeah, and I forgot to uh, do a video through the week because like I said, my days were mixed up. But we did go see Post Malone over the week, over the weekend, and it, he was amazing. If you love Post Malone and have not seen him in concert, I highly suggest you do because he put on the best show ever. And it was so, so good. I keep looking back at the videos and I'm just like, gosh, that concert was perfect. But anyways, back to the video. Like I said, I was starting off with some laundry and then I got sidetracked. The washer and dryer was covered in dust. And then I realized this basket had all kinds of necessary stuff in it. So I decided to go through that, get that in order and kind of fix it up a little bit. I do need to do like a deep clean of the laundry room, but I don't know when I'm going to do that because honestly, I want to redo the laundry room, like paint it and all the things. So I might wait until then. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll just go with the flow and see what happens, but yep. So I'm going to clean the floors here and then I'm going to move on into my youngest son's bedroom. Like I said, my mom stayed in town and she decided that she was going to sleep on the air mattress. We did give her the option of sleeping on the air mattress or she could have our bed. And the air mattress was firmer and she does like a firmer, more bed. So she said that was pretty comfortable to her. So I'm going to go in his room so I can deflate the air mattress and get it put away. So that way I can get his room put back together. The hot spice, love the taste of paradise. to go into the living room I will say that I was actually cleaning the living room 
as I was letting the air mattress deflate, but I put the clip of me putting the mattress away next to deflating it, and that's just simply because I feel like that makes a little more sense than putting it at the end. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so now I'm in the living room starting to put things back in order. I will say that uh, the living room did not stay clean very long. I literally can walk out of the room, walk right back in, and the toys are just right back to where they were. Um, some days it stresses me out, but on most days, like 98% of the time, I'm just kind of like, whatever about it. You know, we do have kids. And one of these days, there won't be toys all over the place, and that truly breaks my heart thinking about it. So I'm kind of fine with it. I do tend to tell my friends that um, when I come over, I'm like, you know, the first time you come over, the house is going to be clean. But, you know, after that, it's fair game. So we'll just see how that happens when, when you come over. The house might be a mess, so it's fine. Um... And they say the same exact thing because, you know, they have kids too and they get it. I mean, I just don't understand how people keep their house so spotless with having kids. But, you know, kudos to them because I can't do it. I, I'm fine with letting them live in the house. You know what I'm saying? You were everything I didn't need until you left. Now I'm dancing around my living room. I get drunk on the thought of you and I. When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger I replay the way that we were till I'm high No, it's not right I miss you, miss and me like you used to, yeah, like you used to I miss you, kiss and me like you used to, like only you do You know the good things are never as good as the bad And your love is better than anything I've ever had, oh I miss you, miss kitchen and no surprise the kitchen is a disaster but I am just going to start off by putting away dinner and then I'm going to put away the clean dishes and then do the dirty dishes of course I have a pile of dirty dishes um, but real fast I forgot to mention I showed you those little wax melts we did go to the peddlers mall while my mom was in town and these smell really, really good. So I was excited to try them. And surprisingly, I was able to use the wax melts for like two days. The one that I put in, um, that I showed you in this clip, I used that one for two days and I could still smell it. And I was honestly surprised because quite a few videos back, I posted a um, thrifting haul and I bought a candle that one of them 
made from the Peddler's Mall. I couldn't remember what booth it was, but I knew they were the ones that also sold wax melts, but there is multiple ones there that do. And I was up and down about getting it because we were so excited about this kettle because you guys, it smelled amazing. And I'm like, this is gonna make my house smell fabulous. And I will say the first time I burned it, it smelled really good. Uh, but then the next time I tried to burn it, it just, you couldn't even smell it. You only could smell it if you were like right next to it, which was a total bummer. And uh, so I, I didn't have very high hopes for these wax melts, but they lasted about two days, which was awesome. So I was very excited about that. And I'm probably going to go back and get some more. <laughs> I still love you Even after all this time Girl, I'm still thinking of you If I could only press rewind When I was spending weekends Staring at my coffee Thinking of nobody else but me Telling you I'm working Knowing you were hurting Never knowing you were all I need Did you know I still love you? After all this time Girl, I'm still thinking of you If I could only
So now onto the Dawn Power Wash. I showed you that you need the soap, you need uh, rubbing alcohol, and then you will need a tablespoon to do all of this. So you will need four, tablespoon of, four tablespoons of the Blue Dawn Dish Soap, and then you will need two tablespoons of the rubbing alcohol. And um, I will say that uh, I added too much water into this, but you do add 13 fluid ounces of water, which is basically, I think it's like to the point of um, the label of the Dawn Power Wash. I think it's about right there is how much you wanna fill it up. But I've been doing this, this is about the third time. I think it is that I have done this at home and I think it works just as well as buying the refills. So honestly, this is so much cheaper to do it this way anyways than paying like, how much is it, $13 or something like that for the refills. Um, so if you haven't tried this and you love the Dawn Power Wash, give it a shot and let me know what you think. to restock uh, the fridge with some drinks as you can see I was kind of out of them we honestly 
didn't have very much either so I'm just putting in the fridge what we had at home and then we did run to Costco later that day so I'm just gonna put some water in here juice boxes and some pop and that is going to be it outside and I'm cleaning off our porch I honestly was not planning on doing this this week at all but we actually ended up ordering some uh, some furniture for our porch and I'm super excited about it we've never actually had like porch furniture we've only had like a table and these chairs and we don't even use the table we only use the chairs because it's more of like a an octagon shape I think it is so it's just it fits on the porch very awkwardly so we don't use it so I'm super excited about this new furniture set that we ended up getting I will show you guys I have this whole porch makeover video that has been in the making since last year I think it was um, because we do have a new front porch um, and so I'm super excited about the new furniture that we're getting and it was super cheap too. So yeah, I'm super excited, but I'm going to get as much of this cleaned off as I can. And then I'm going to move a lot of it um, downstairs in the basement just to get it out of the way. And I will say that um, our basement is a complete disaster like when we moved in we just kept throwing things downstairs and um, never really went through it again never touched it again and that's just because a lot of it was my oldest son's stuff from when like he was a baby like we literally I'm not even kidding you literally saved everything from when he was a baby uh, because we obviously wanted to have another one and it's a lot cheaper to do it that way um, but with doing that there was a lot of stuff that we ended up just replacing because we one couldn't find it or two was just like I'm not even trying to look for it so, <laughs> so we just like replaced quite a bit of stuff but we have actually used a lot of um, stuff that um, I could actually get to downstairs which was super nice but we do plan on having a yard sale next month I think it is so I do plan on going downstairs to clean out the basement get it organized put a whole pile for the yard sale which is probably going to be like everything down there honestly and then what we don't sell we always donate it um, so I'm super excited about that I'm well, okay, I'm not like super excited about cleaning out the basement because I am very nervous of what's going to be down in that basement. Um, so that's a little, little nerve wracking for me. But um, also we just have like the lights downstairs are not very good either. They're just like those lights that are stuck at the ceiling, those little tiny ones. So the lighting down there is just horrible. i want to try and make a video of the basement um, but I honestly don't know if it's going to work because of how bad the lighting is down there um, so we will see so if you see the video obviously I decide to do it if not it's because 
the lighting was just so bad or it's because I got too overwhelmed and just said no I can't <laughs> I cannot do the video right now which has happened to me quite a bit I get overwhelmed extremely easily so you know I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> with that so I'm not making any promises but um, I'm very excited to get it done um, I will say like we have a deep freezer downstairs so every time I do go down there like like I just start to feel my body like get overwhelmed and I get anxious and I'm like this is ridiculous like it's it's too much and that's why I'm like slowly trying to declutter and organize our house uh, because I've realized that we have so not just in the basement but in the house like we have so much stuff that we don't even touch so if we're not touching it we're not using it why do we have it why is it taking up this space so i'm slowly starting to declutter the house and i'm actually working on the kitchen right now i think i've shown one clip or maybe a couple clips of actually doing a couple cabinets and a drawer and um you know, so I'm, I'm trying to get it done, but it's like a slow process because I am an overthinker and I want to make sure I get what I need and not have to return a bajillion things. And, you know, and I'm also not one of those people that I'm like, well, I'm redoing my kitchen. So I got to buy everything on Amazon or everything from Walmart and put it like get it all done in one day. And that is another thing is I can't do that all in one day. Um, so I've been trying to clean under the cabinet for about, um, a week now, I think it is. And it's just trying to find the time to actually do it to where I can do it, get it done and be done with it without interruptions or anything like that. Because if I get on the rhythm of doing something, like I'm getting this done, I'm going to do it and I get interrupted, I lose that motivation and then I just like tend to put everything back or it just stays there until I get that motivation back. So, you know, my life's a struggle, <laughs> but I'm trying to work on it. And um, I'm hoping by the end of the year, I will have the house fully decluttered and organized, which I don't know. I feel like some people would be like a year. That's a long time. But to me, it's not because like I'm saying, like it's a struggle for me to do it and be able to get it done and you know it's my whole mind and being able to do it so is downstairs and I'm done with the front porch I'm going to move on into the dining room and start getting the table kind of cleared off most of this well basically all of this is clean clothes besides a random few things and um, yeah I'm going to get all of this laundry folded up and put away I keep pouring out my empathy to someone I don't even see eye to eye with I don't mind if you don't have it all together yeah I get it we are all human but I give you an inch and you take miles it's tragic ruining my sanity with tales of animosity I, I'd rather I cry than feel just a little bigger i don't know if i've seen anything that's sadder it's so hard to comprehend how you don't even understand stepping on me without even trying never seen somebody get so good at lying it's impressive you don't spend all your time crying over all the ways you let me down so many i could drown but Sense 
positive and cynical Took my sanity and sent it up the wall Typical emotional, it's so unoriginal I gave you the best and you just took it all I, I'd rather I cry than Now that all of that is done I'm going to go ahead and sweep the floors and then I'm going to mop them it has been about um, well honestly no because I just mopped the floors but they need to be remopped because it did rain and you know the puppies um, tracked in some mud and everything like that so I just want to go ahead since I was sweeping the floors I went ahead and mopped I have been thinking about getting another Swiffer uh, because it was super easy when I had the Swiffer. I didn't have to boil the water and all of the things. Um, but you know, with the Swiffer that we had, it was constantly leaking. And um, I was making my own solution at home and about three times, like I went to go get the Swiffer and I'm like, it's empty. I was like, I just refilled this. So I literally thought I was starting to go crazy and I'm like, I just refilled this. Didn't I just refill it? I'm like, so I would have to think about it. I'm like, I'm almost positive I just refilled this. So again, I would refill it. And um, then there was one day where um, I went to throw something away and I noticed all this wet stuff on the floor. And I'm like, well, what is that? And I lifted up the... Um, Swiffer out of the way and I got some paper towels and was cleaning it up and I was like, well, that's kind of purple So I smelt it. Yes, I did. I smelt it. I was like, well, that's my floor cleaner I was like, it's leaking. No, I was like, I knew I have been changing that um, I, I've been refilling it. I was like, I knew it, but it's been leaking this whole time So I knew I wasn't going crazy <laughs> But, um, so I don't know, it's kind of been one of those things where I'm like, well, do I really want to spend the $30, I think it was, to buy a brand new one? Or just, you know, fight with doing the water and all the things. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what would be easier, honestly, but whatever. Um, real fast, I want to mention that in the dining room, you've seen that there was, like, some blue tape on the walls and then I got like a couple windows over here in the corner I was thinking about hanging those up and putting a couple uh, family photos in there uh, because that is the original plan to blow up some really big ones when we get uh, family photos done this year but um, those windows were super heavy so they were a lot heavier than I thought they were and so I just don't feel comfortable with putting them on the wall um, but we do plan on doing some family pictures this year which I'm super excited about um, we did uh, do some Halloween themed and um, maternity pictures that were so stinking cute and I was going to do birthing pictures but with everything that happened through my pregnancy and um, what happened to my son like we had to have him up in UK and it's a learning hospital so there was about like 30 people in the room so it just went and worked out so we talked to her and she was like well you know what let's just do family pictures because it was like a package deal thing so I'm so grateful that she ended up working with us um, but yeah I'm going off topic here so so now I'm gonna go through and sweep and mop or er, I already swept now I'm going to go through and mop the rest of the house, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, got some motivation from it, and I will see you in the next one.